Oh, Leos, welcome to your love reading for November 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646 902 5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Leos for love for November of 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to universe and closer to divine. Any messages, please? Be greatly appreciated, and we thank you. What are the love energies for Leo prior to November? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them. And if they're interested in or seeing somebody else, Queen of Swords is in the reverse for November. I feel very much that's you guys. Um, in my playlist are your 2024 Sun Moon readings that do continue to come out. Um, make sure you put re your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And we end on the five of wands in reverse as you move out of November into December. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. It's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. So, <laughs> Leos, it looks like prior to November, you found out something about somebody. Um, it was exposed. It was revealed. I mean, it could be something as minor as, you know, um, them having done something in their past that maybe you don't agree with. Um, or it could be as, um, as major or as severe as them uh, having an affair, um, them keeping a secret from you, um, you know, something, some legal problems of some sort, some legalities that they're kind of caught up in. And I feel as though this was you discovered this or it was put on blast it was exposed um, in regards to your person um, it's interesting because in November I can see you're not very happy about it and I feel like you're giving this person the business you're telling them exactly what you think about it and I know with you guys a lot of times when you get fired up you're not going to hold back when it comes to your tongue um, I should know because I'm a Leo moon and a Leo rising so I just kind of let it fly um, <laughs> when when somebody has disrespected me a little bit too much so um, I just see you're very upset about this very uh, you're lacking total compassion for this person kind of like how could you do this what were you thinking and I, I think you definitely are all over them in that regard and not only that I think you're pretty much telling them you better shape up or you're gonna you're gonna have some big problems going on you know shape up or ship out I feel is kind of the the conversation that's going on with this person um as you move forward though I mean believe it or not it seems like things return back to being harmonious I feel as though uh the conflict that you guys are having is actually going to be resolved I think you're going to focus on um what what is important in your uh, relationship and not on the smaller things. I think the two of you are striving for the same thing. You'd rather live in peace and harmony than, you know, uh, continue to have this conflict going on. So it's nice to see that you do resolve that as you move out of November into December. So let me pull clarifiers. Why is this Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo's energies, love energies prior to November? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands in the upright. All right, so immediately I'm getting from that Seven of Wands in the upright, you told them this is unacceptable. I mean, I feel as though they're trying to make excuses or try to oppose you or justify what they did, and you're saying, nope, I'm not having it. This is absolutely a hill I'm going to die on, and that is absolutely going to be that. Um, I feel as though, oh, <laughs> I feel as though, you know, you just cannot accept this. Whatever they did really, really was the straw that broke the camel's back or it's just something that does not jive with, um, you know, things that you believe in. You're very, very honest people. So it could have been something dishonest and that is not okay with you. So you're definitely putting your foot down um, in regards to this. And then I also feel as though um, you're letting them know, hey, listen, this, this is, or you let them know this really has put you back in my mind, uh, you know, in terms of how I think about you now, because you did this, it was very foolish that you did so, but you know, now I don't, I don't think of you the same way that I did before because of this. Hierophant card in reverse is um, the card of Taurus, but it's also the card of you having said to them, you know, I don't think I want to be in this connection if this is what it's going to be about. Um, I don't like this. I don't 
this is not how I do things. This is, I'm not gonna um, be in a connection where somebody is going to do these things and I'm gonna be associated with them. So I feel as though you're, you're telling them that you don't wanna be committed to them or continue to be committed to them um, because of this incident. Um, but you're definitely letting them have it in November, I feel. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, you, uh, the star card in reverse is a card of Aquarius, but it's also a card of not having hope, not having faith that uh, you guys will be continue on. You don't even know if you'll be able to trust this person again. It just seems as though um, whatever they did was larger than life, and you're not really sure that you could overcome that. Um, the Ten of... Done. I seriously felt like there was just like a I was just out in the woods and I feel like a bug oh my god I hope that wasn't a tick I'll tell you what um <laughs> sorry about that it's funny because tick leeches I don't know um so the ten of swords in reverse um kind of says to me that it, it was something really bad that happened but you, you are having the consideration. So after after you kind of blow up and say, I can't get over this in your mind, you're that upset about it. After the fumes start to settle down, after you're done thinking the absolute worst case scenario, I, th I think you start asking yourself, can I deal with this? Is this something that's gonna, you know, um, inhibit growth on my part, you know, because of this? Um, so the Knight of Swords in the upright is you again, pretty much telling them, listen, this is how it's gonna be. I know what you did. Um, and, and the two of you are actually gonna argue about it. You're gonna have more conflict. Um, you're gonna let them know. You're gonna be very truthful, very straightforward and say, I know what you did. It's not okay. Um, this is my opinion about it. I just need to have my say. And then we could just move forward. So I, I feel as though you're just kind of hashing it out. Like, hear what I have to say, you're gonna take all of it and then we are gonna move forward from this and, and see how it goes. Um, why is the five of wands in reverse? You don't trust this person still, you're not sure. You are trying to avoid conflict. You are trying to work things out and focus on what's important, but you pretty much told them, I can't count on you. I can't rely on you. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to trust you again um, because you know, it was just something that was, and, and you also don't know, you tell them, um, you did that now, so I'm fearful that you may do that again in the future. So that's always gonna be in the back of my mind. Queen of Cups in Reverse has you having very uncertain feelings about this person, rightfully so, because I mean, how do you know how they're gonna move forward? They're just gonna have to prove themselves and the Ace of Cups in Reverse um, as you move forward. Again, working on harmony, but letting them know that you're very disappointed in their choices. Um, that they did, letting them know how it hurt your feelings, um, how it really affected what you think of yourself, um, which is really rare for you guys, right? Um, so, and, and I really feel like you didn't give them the whole assault that you could have. I think you held back on some of the, some of the, the feelings that you have. Um, but so that's what I'm seeing. I mean, definitely a little bit of trouble in paradise. If it does resonate, uh, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist are your 2024 sun, moon readings that continue, predictions that continue to come out. Um, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023 are still in there see if they rang true for you and then finally please look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate or for a friend in support of my efforts it's always greatly appreciated otherwise uh leos i will see you in the vimeo adios for veronica garnett bye